Delegates and guests, next up is Ricardo Lara. Hello, California Democrats. I'm proud to speak to you today as the first LGBTQ person elected to statewide office ever in California's history. Y como el primer Latino comisionado de seguros. U.S. delegates to our party know better than most that representation absolutely matters. Many of you also know personally what it's like to be under attack for your beliefs, for your sexual orientation, or for the color of your skin. And as a son of an immigrant farm worker, I too know what it's like when hardworking Americans are treated like second-class citizens. For me, in those tough moments, I draw upon the strength of my parents' journey to this country, an extraordinary courage it took to make that faithful decision and sacrifice. Now, we all know that it's women who hold up the sky and the world, and my mother, Dolores, definitely holds up mine. But today I want to tell you a little bit about a man who inspires me through the toughest of times and the darkest of hours. My father, Benustiano Lara. You see, I am my father's son, and I am so immensely proud of that. He came to this country in 1962, and when I say came to this country, I mean he swam here. He swam here in the darkest of night across a deep canal with only the lights of the stars and an underground coyote as his guide. He literally had a quarter in his pocket, and though he would never actually tell me this, he was scared. He knew no one. But somehow he managed to find his way to Fresno, 350 miles north, so that he could begin working as part of the Bracero program, a program that exploited laborers and then deported them as soon as they had finished picking the crops on those California fields that still feed America to this day. Through years of backbreaking work in the fields and later in a factory through a constant fear of being deported, he and my mother raised four children in East Los Angeles and became proud naturalized American citizens. When a reporter asked my father if everything he endured was worth it, he always responds, valió la pena por quien mi hijo es hoy. It was worth it because of who my son is today. And this is what gets me through the toughest fights and the meritless mudslinging in my direction. My father endured so much more. Because I am my father's son, I fight so hard every single day for those who are recovering from what is often the worst experience of their lives, like losing their homes to devastating wildfires or to other natural disasters. When the worst wildfires in our state's history devastated communities, took lives, burned down entire neighborhoods, I work for consumers to hold insurers to account, to help survivors rebuild their lives. Because I am my father's son, I went into those communities across the state to personally meet with wildfire survivors to find out what they really needed to put their lives back together. And to the firefighters who put their lives at risk and in harm's way to protect our homes and communities, just want you to know this. You've had our backs and I will always have yours. And we all know that these natural disasters are occurring because we've neglected our natural resources for far too long. That is why I support putting an end to our reliance on fossil fuels and making our community safer and more resilient. I am my father's son, and I am out of patience with insurance companies that just charge people more when they're doing everything possible to protect themselves. I believe healthcare is a human right, and I proudly authored the original legislation on single payer and health for all. I am my father's son, and I stand up to billionaires and bullies who want to change the rules to profit themselves at the expense of the rest of us. And unlike my opponent, I am an unequivocal supporter of farm worker rights. I am proud to be endorsed by nurses, teachers, firefighters, laborers, healthcare workers, equality rights groups, and activists across the state. And I'm here today to humbly ask for your support. I am my father's son, and I am proud of what I've done as California's insurance commissioner. This is for you, Dad. 